Good afternoon, guys. I have come down today to grab some, well, we just grabbed lunch, me, Alfie and Dave. And uh, Dave, what is going on today? Tell us. Tonight, I'm spending my first night in this place. It is, what do you reckon, a third of a mile through the trees? Yeah, we are it's in the middle deep, of nowhere. Deep into the trees. Come and have a look. I've only, been, literally, I came to visit the old lady that lived here for her whole life called Brenda. She lived here for 60 years. Her kids grew up here and everything. Um, she's just had to move out into a home. So we're on the same estate. And then they said, look, well, this place is coming up. Maybe it would be good for you to come here. So, so we're giving it a go. I feel daunted though. It's yeah. different, isn't it? I realized in the first V1, Corco V1, I realized that I was using the pub a lot and I was using the coffee shop a lot because I need, you need some indoor time, even if you're gonna live most of your life outdoor in the trees or whatever. What are you saying, Alfie? This place yeah. is crazy. This is cool, man. Literally just in the middle of nowhere. It's deep, isn't it? We'll probably be able to have like, cows. Hairy cows. Hairy cows. The big cows. I hope so. I don't know, it depends. I might work with the farm because they know what they're doing with animals. So it might be that like, I work with the farm. I have to talk with them about it, but and they look after them, but we have them here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I might find yeah. some collaborative arrangement because the people around here know what they're doing and I'm still learning, so. You got a cellar? No. Got a cellar? Is it like a wine cellar? Yeah, Oi, right, let's go and have a look. <laughs> Dave, I don't think this was a good idea, bro. <laughs> oh, no, oh. oh. <laughs> what do you mean? Easy, easy, simple. What are those? They're like poly tunnels or something. Wow. This could be great. Cool little storage area. Well, it could be more. It could yeah, be something no cool. Idea what we're doing, where we are. So Dave has paid attention. That's mad. How do we make normal houses more eco-friendly, more nature-friendly, more efficient, and embrace that simple living stuff? So we're going to be changing stuff up around here. Mate, I'm still proper, like. Boy, that's cool, man. <laughs> that's I'm still cool. proper, like nervous. Boy, bro, you got a house. <laughs> You ready? Yeah. Let's hope the key actually works. It's the first time I'm trying. It's the first time I've been here on my own. Pull the pull the thing down, bro. Yeah. Do yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome in, boys. Yeah. Wait, do we need to get our shoes off? Because I think they're muddy and stuff. I think so. Just take them off. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Is it? Bro, that's a nice guy as well, isn't it? Isn't but, he an Arga? It's like an Arga, but it's got a different name. It's a Rayburn. It's a Rayburn because it's powered you can't see, but it's powered by a massive gas canister. Right. So it's, a, it's unconflicted because I love it. Oh, it's actually on, it's warm. Is it? Is it warm? Because Pete, you can heat the house with this, can't you? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. It's on. It's just ticking over. Yeah. Um, unconflicted because it's wicked and it's very farmhousey and everything. <laughs> but, it's fossil, but it's fossil fuels. But it's gas, it's fossil fuels, and I'm not into that. All the decisions we'll be making will be about how do you make this house work in a way that suits its environment. So obviously around here, there's loads of trees. So biomass that comes from trees, it will be what we use to power this. So it'll be quite a moment when we take this out and put well, it in. Well, you just chug, chug the logs in and cook like that? I, I guess so. I know, I don't know. I know the, it's a whole heating system. Uh, okay. And it does everything. I don't really know. I don't know the details yet. I don't even know how it works. But yeah, so this is the kitchen. Welcome to the living room. Yeah, do you know how old this cottage is? We should find out. Yeah, it's old, but it got redone a bit. <laughs> old. Do you know how old so it is? Yeah, yeah, old. <laughs> this will be the dining room. With the piano that the Brenda left oh, me at the piano. Is it tuned? Probably not. Give us a little tinkle, Dave. Yeah, it needs, I need to get Ronnie the tuner down. Is that another fireplace you another, open up? Yeah, the chimney sweep, they're gonna open it up hopefully next Sick. week. That's the table tennis room. Table tennis room? Yeah, I got... What's happening through here? Mate, it's mad. I don't even know what I've done. <laughs> yeah, Were people yeah. just well short back in the day? Yeah. I reckon? <laughs> I'm all right. I'm still short, bro. I can't. I can't stand up. I was, ba I was made like this. this. <laughs> you just like... I was made for this house, bro. Yeah, you're like, this is prime time today. As if you can walk around. <laughs> you always want this to be like a... Uh... Hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking ball pit, Louis. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. 
No, but you always want this to be a sunken lounge, don't you? Where yeah. it's like a, I like this, yeah. But I, but I think it has to be a utilities room. Yeah. Like, Dave just found a metal detector. <laughs> Wait, we need to find some treasure. Yeah, man. Out in your garden. I bet you there's some out here. Why has she got it otherwise? Right, we're going yeah, upstairs. This bathroom is surprisingly massive. Yeah, it For is. A tiny little cottage is actually huge. Like, you could actually have it as a spare bedroom as well. Yeah, I can just sleep here. <laughs> I don't know if the water works or not. I don't know if there's any water services. Oh yeah, do it. Do no, a little I'm test. Do a little test. I'm staying here tonight. Go on. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't reckon the gas is on. Straight bolted. Straight. straight. Like no, wait, wait. Ah. Oh, oh. Is it warming oh. up? No, it's not. No, it's Oy. not. Is it hot? Oi! Oi, matey. You're having a bath tonight? <laughs> I will, bro. This would be a savage place to be having a bath. We were just saying, guys, that this is like it's going to be wet as hell. This is like the homeliest room so far. Like for me, this feels like this could be the lounge. This could be the communal hangout this is area. The lounge, bro. Yeah. I'm just going to keep the door open. Dave Even in the bar. The hot water actually works. I'll be like, yo. It'll be like knocking the door. Dave will like, come in. Okay, this okay. is the bedrooms, yeah. The bedrooms. And look at these amazing cabinets they left me. So yeah, these are nice. nice. I oh, think that's wow. that's awesome. I think that's the thing. Like this is Brenda's house. At the end of the day, like yeah. this is in my mind. I feel lucky that I get to stay here for a while, however long we stay. But she is like she sums up the country for me. Living here, working on the farm, did a, raised a whole family in one house, worked on one estate, and so I, I feel really lucky. That is she old now, like eighty or something? Yeah, at least like nearly ninety, I think. Whoa. Yeah. She's lovely. We sat together and she showed me pictures of what it was like 40 years ago with the kids growing up and everything. So it was really sweet. But yeah, left, left some beds. So this will be like the guest room, I think. Yeah, Whoa, right. this is the master bedroom. This is master Oi, This is big. This is serious, isn't it? Is that yeah. Really tonight? <laughs> I'll be in the one of those single beds. But this is massive, isn't it? I haven't looked in it. Walk-in closet. Nice. Well, that's where you're going to do your work. Dave, that's, your, that's, your desk. that's your desk, bro. See you in a bit. It's You're all... going to edit a vlog. <laughs> yeah, bro. You can't come out until it's finished. <laughs> <laughs> Oi. Another bedroom. Third room. No way. This is going to be the studio. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to set up. What, music studio or art studio? <sighs> like sound oh, studio. Oh, oh, nice. I think this will be sound studio. So I think I'll set up like podcast yeah. vibes in here. It's decent storage though. Yeah, serious. I mean, you would probably live in there, Liam, Yeah, I'd live in there. That's it's pretty big. Oh yeah, easy enough for a bed. <laughs> you have a straight up house, Dave. I know. Even that oh. little shed is bigger than my hut. Do you know what I mean? Dave, what is that chunk of metal? This is my first thing I ever designed for the real world. I did it with my friend Mike. Basically, the first hut, obviously we've just bought that. Second one built, a, um, designed a steel frame and they made it and brought it over. And Alfie, you helped me bring it in. Crazy. But it's really hard to work with the steel frame because um, you can't put normal screws into it. Yeah. You put wood into the steel and then put everything to the wood. So this time I thought, well, what if... But you want that rigidity, you want that stru structure. So I thought, what if we just have steel corner pieces and you slide two by fours into them and then basically just screw... And then there's that a four by four in there? Well, what that is, is this means it's one bracket for every corner. Because oh, nice. sometimes it's that way and sometimes it's that way. Oh, so yeah, then you just yeah, put cool. a wedge in the other side yeah, yeah, yeah. and then just screw it down. And then you just have one corner piece in like in four different ways. So that would be like that in that corner, you know? Mm -hmm. That would be the corner of this. And then you can choose the height and the length. You choose the height and the length. And it's basically two and a half meter cubes is what I'm reckoning. So the big hut that I made last year or got most of the way through making would be three of these in a row that would make seven two and a half meter cube times three yeah nice so this isn't on the market so we thought we'd make it so i'm really chuffed there i need to play with them but i think they're looking good they're, and they've been galvanized yeah be careful but yeah Right, we've just oh, had an idea. You? What's the idea, Dave? Your idea, bro, that because there is actually 4G signal here, which we tell didn't... them about the woods. Like, what was the deal in the yeah. woods? So in the woods, there was no Wi-Fi, no phone, no bloody tap water. There was nothing. 
so it was easy you, you know you guys would come down and we'd all just be off grid easy peasy but here there is actually 4g which is a good thing and a bad thing unless you're sitting on your phone all night like me scrolling for instagram <laughs> exactly so louis was saying maybe we use this letterbox for a, a phone box <laughs> yeah so you come in hey dave he's like yep just drop your phone in the box yeah here Blop. it goes see get it back in 24 hours time yeah nice <laughs> Could be an idea. I like it. Definitely, maybe not every day, but definitely there should be some. It's a nice idea. Some set time hours. frames. It could be yeah, like set hours or something. Collect your phone from four till six pm yeah, or something exactly. like that. Do you know what I mean? I like just the intentional. Like I'm switching off. Yeah. I'm switching off. Right, we're leaving the cottage for momentarily. We're gonna drop Alfie back. Oh. We're gonna head back to the cottage now. Dave's gonna pick up some food for dinner. Funny story, when he first went to the woods that he was staying in last year. Don't do me in like that, <laughs> Him and my friend Andy went, went to stay the first night. I think you made a vlog about this though, right? Yeah, I did, but we have to uh, remind people about stuff. <laughs> they made a campfire and, and Dave's choice of food to cook on the campfire was a frozen pizza and apparently, well, quite obviously, that didn't really work out. It was going well until I lowered it and then it burnt to a crisp. And so yeah. I need to impress Andy tonight. Okay, and so we're going to- change my ways. Uh, to be fair, you've got a bit more to work with now. You've got that that Arga oven thing. Yeah. You can cook on those hot plates. Yeah, exactly. Right, we're just popping past Dave's old woods to pick up a few things like a saucepan to cook on and maybe a saw to chop some firewoods and all that kind of vibes. But, um, if you haven't seen Dave's documentary he made on this place, I'll link it below. I don't think I've had a chance to talk about your documentary in a vlog yet, Dave. I haven't told my viewers about your documentary yet other than on my Instagram story. Oh, sick. So guys, if you haven't, yeah, Dave's, uh, it's ready to download. You can just click the link below. It's, um, you can choose how much to pay. But it shows his whole kind of story of this whole year, living in the woods, building these huts, and uh, yeah, what he's learned from it. It's, it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, it's now exciting to be here kind of for the second phase as he's learning more and you know, getting a cottage and some land to, you know, dream up other things. But uh, yeah, let's see if we can go and find the bits we need. Dave spent the whole year kind of making vlogs of this as well. If you haven't been watching his channel, you can see him coming into the woods and, you know, building the, building the shepherd's huts and things. Uh, yeah, it's all very, very cool. You are Mr. Stampy. I've got, got the right boots for stamping. Yeah. I've got my stamping boots on. Oh, that one is a clean cut. Nice one, mate. No idea. Oh, well done. Oh, it's Interesting, because now my feelings are a bit different. Now I'm like, okay, we're in for the night. Yeah. I'm feeling quite good about the fact that we're miles away from everyone. Because it doesn't matter. We've got food. Yeah, once you're in. We've got warmth. We're just chilling. It helps you got water and electricity. That's nice. The fire is on. Dave's just offered to make me a cup of tea. Show us your Christmas present, Dave. Yeah, my sister got me this, like all these lush teas. And we found a lemon and ginger. That's my guy. That's and always, then that's this, my guy. Th this thingy. Yeah. Oh, it, it has. He brews it. A, a loose leaf brewer inside Ooh. the guy. So I think we literally just. Fill him up. Should I put the kettle on? Wait, how's, have, how's there a kettle? Have we got, oh bro, we haven't got a kettle. We can make hot water though. Yeah, I think with a saucepan on this well, guy. Look, just, I'll tell you what, if I just take the leaves out of here. <laughs> we'll just take the leaves out, no, that's probably not the nicest thing to put water in. Yeah, you can if you want. Okay. I don't mind. Okay. Cutting um, the courgettes. Looks a bit funny, doesn't it? Doesn't look like a funny courgette. No Ubers, no Amazon now. No, no nothing. Just, just, just cool jets. Just cool jets for days. <laughs> All right, Andy's arrived. We're doing a little house tour. Dungeon room. So the question is, you know, well, I'm thinking it's like utility room, but also like get this away and make it like, could make it like a little lounge or the table tennis room as well as the utility room. Right, dinner's done. Got the noodles and the, or the spaghetti and the veg. Calling it noodles. Oh, it's lips are noodles, isn't it? But there's plenty. I'm excited. There's so much food. <laughs> it's, it's food. 
Oh, that's all right. Give that a solid five. Yeah, good. Huh. Okay, I'm leaving these guys to stay the first night in the yeah. cottage. It's warm. It's it proper is warm. really warm, warm now. Warm no, now. we found, guys, we found the central heating and it's lovely in here. This is so much better than I imagined. Because, uh, yeah, this, this place could have been in a lot worse condition. Yeah, I kept the expectations low. And it needs, it needs a bit of love, but yeah. it is... Um, it's a blank canvas ready to... Well, it's ready got character to create embedded it. in the walls, but it's it's ready for its new lease of life. Yeah, oh, I can't wait to see what happens. Unfortunately, uh, you know, I'm going to be doing some other things. They're not permanently based here, but when I'm back in the country, I think I'll come down and Amen. try and spend as much time down here as possible. In the in the summer and spring months, I'm yeah, sure. Probably in the warmer months. Although I potentially, well, we're going to come back at the end of this week. Yeah. And then I might be back again at the end of the month. Oh, you might be away though. Who, what's, who's going to be down here? Andy. Andy. We'll see, we'll see. Anyway, it's been a pleasure sharing this day with you, Dave. Love you, man. Uh, this, this is the start of something very special. Oh, it's a continuation of something very it special. Is. It's the next chapter. It is. So I've arrived back at my parents' house. I would have stayed down at the cottage with Dave and Andy, but um, I've got my friend Sylvia arriving here early tomorrow morning to fix my dreads because um, it's been months since I've had my dreads kind of tied it up and um, yeah I need to I need to do that I'm sure you're aware and I might get trimmed as well actually um, anyway that's why I'm back here because uh, it makes more sense kind of me being here and um, it's been a really good day guys uh, I haven't really done much other than just been kind of uh, dreaming and um, spending time with Dave on this quite a special day. This is quite a milestone in his journey. Um, if you haven't kind of followed his journey, like I was saying earlier, definitely check out his channel. Um, it's so interesting to see him exploring, firstly, this kind of, um, I guess, forest life, learning how to spend more time in nature and slow down and, and what that experience has been for him. And now this new journey of, of having a space still quite isolated from where me and him both grew up in kind of the suburbs and spending time in the city and then uh, yeah looking at different ways to live and and he was saying him and Andy uh, who's going to be living there some of the week I guess are looking at ways to get the house kind of more sustainable so looking at ways to kind of put solar panels in and yeah you know less reliance on the grid that we're currently used to um, so yeah lots of experimenting and I'm excited to kind of check in on the house and see you know how they're progressing when I can but um, yeah if you want to kind of have regular updates Dave's going to be posting videos throughout the year so yeah subscribe to his channel also like I said earlier check out his little documentary he made and uh, yeah I'll catch you in the morning Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom.